Hey everybody and welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Before we get started, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below. Now you guys are probably thinking if you're watching this the day it premieres, it's a different day. I'm going to give you guys a bonus video this week because I really wanted to show you some of my new printed pattern vinyl that I partnered with with Auntie Tay. This is one of my favorite things that I've gotten to do and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make this shirt. This is a super fun and easy thing that you can do and we're going to use a file from the Auntie Tay membership to make this, but you can do this with any kind of design that you want. And it's a fun way for you guys to get an idea of what your project is going to look like before you cut it out and all of that. That way you can see if you actually like it. Because sometimes it doesn't look quite like what you envisioned with the pattern vinyl. So it's a great way to test it out before you cut. Now I'm going to show you my pattern vinyl real quick. This is a black rainbow leopard and we have a rainbow with snow leopard. These are HTV and then I also have the tie-dye paw party. You can get all of these in HTV or adhesive and make sure to use code Corinne at checkout at shopantitay.com and you can save 10% on her site. And then this one is fun. This is the dark paw tie-dye. I love this one. And then we also have the paw zen tie-dye. This one is really cute too. This is a white with the tie-dye paws. And then this is the one that we're going to use today. This one is our rainbow tie-dye leopard. We're going to use this one in HTV, but again, these all come in HTV or adhesive. They're super easy to work with, and these are going to be a little bit different than some of the other pattern vinyl you've seen on my page because these pattern vinyls already have the carrier sheet attached, so you're going to cut them with the color side down and near your image, Unlike with some of the other ones where you have to get a heat transfer mask and all of that. So these are super easy to work with. They cut beautifully and they're really easy to work with. And you can see how bright the colors are. So let's go over to Design Space so I can show you guys how to do this. I love being able to see what my patterns are going to look like on my images before I actually cut them out. Because sometimes maybe they're not exactly what I want. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that really easily. Because using pattern fill isn't always your best option because it will actually size the pattern down really small or really big to fit in your image and it doesn't give you a true idea. So what I'm going to do is click upload. I'm going to upload an image and click browse. I'm going to find first the image that I want to put my pattern into. So I'm going to use this cute Disney life one from Auntie Tay. You can grab her membership at AuntieTay.com. But what I'm going to do is upload, and you can do this with any image. You don't feel like you have to do this image. This is just the one I want to put on my shirt. So then what I'm going to do is, again, click Upload Image and click Browse. Now, you'll want to save whatever pattern or image that you want to cut this out on. So in this case, we're going to use my printed pattern, um, and you're going to go ahead and upload that image. So we're going to do this one on the rainbow uh, tie-dye leopard print, which is such a cute color. I love it. So you'll see that it comes up as a JPG, which means that we need to quote unquote clean it up. In this one, we don't clean it up, but go ahead and choose complex, click continue, and you'll see that it's pretty big, don't worry. Just click continue again, you don't need to do any cleaning up. Now you'll wanna select the print then cut image and click upload. Now it might take a moment to upload, but don't worry. It's just because it's a lot of information for a Cricut Design Space to handle. Cricut Design Space isn't exactly a design program made to handle really large images. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and insert both images by holding Control or Command if you're using a Mac on my keyboard and clicking on both of the images that I want. Click Insert Images in your lower right hand corner. Now again, this might take a second because that pattern is going to load really big. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to resize my pattern to be 12 by 12 by using the sizing options up here at the top and just changing those to 12. The next thing that I'm going to do is move this off to the side and find my Disney life image. And I'm going to make this a lot bigger and move this over a little bit more. So this one has a little bit of a funny cut on it. So I'm just going to get rid of that. We don't need it. I'm just going to hide it with this little eyeball. And then what I want to do is resize this to the size that I want it on my shirt. So I'm putting this on a woman's large sweatshirt. So 9.5 is usually a pretty good size for this. And my shirt is going to be uh, like light blue. So I'm going to show you guys how to kind of 
um, show that too. So what we'll first do is ungroup the image that is the Disney Life image. And then I want to select just the Disney Life and the gray square behind it. And I'm going to slice. What that does is it removes the words from this gray square so that all I have to cut out is this gray square here. We don't need these. You can delete them or you can just hide them, whatever you'd like to do. I'm going to keep this one to the side, so I'm just going to hide it. Now what I'm going to do is change my background color just so we can see it a little bit better and what it's going to look like. And to do that, just go to blank canvas and up at the top, you'll see the word color. Click on that and then I my shirt is kind of minty, I don't know, robin's egg blue. So what I'm going to do is try to kind of match that color best I can by using the little color slidey wheel thingy down here at the bottom. I don't know what it's called, but the little color doohickey. And I'm just going to go ahead and that looks pretty good. It's close enough. Now what I need to do is slice my image out of my pattern. Now what's kind of cool about this is you can move this around if you've got your full pattern sheet and figure out where you want it to cut on your pattern to get the colors that you want or you can just let it do it up in the upper corner and then you'll get whatever colors are up there. But I'm gonna personally cut this down here because I want some of the yellows and the blues and stuff and I'll move it down to that lower corner when I go to cut. So what I'm gonna do is select both of these items and I'm just gonna click the word slice down here. Now again, it might take a second, no worries. I'm gonna go ahead and hide this pattern and I'm gonna hide this gray one because we're gonna need that again. And this is what your shirt's going to look like. This is a super fun thing to do, and I really, really like it. But if you don't want that blue from your shirt, that's why we kept this white piece. Because you can cut this white piece separately and go ahead and layer them if you would like to. If this is the look that you would rather have, you can do that as well. But typically with printed pattern vinyl, you don't want to layer directly on top of the image because that can actually cause you to have... Um, some lifting issues. So what I'm actually going to do is move this over and I'm going to hide this again because I don't want to try to like line them up like that. I would rather just layer this on top of a white square. So what I'm going to do is open up a square and I'm going to put the dimensions in that are the same dimensions as this but just slightly smaller. So what first we need to do is unlock our square by this little locky thing in the lower left hand corner and this is 9.509 wide so let's go ahead and make this 9.4 wide and we may need to mess with the sizing a little bit and this is a 6.249 so I'm going to go ahead and just make this 6.1. Now what I'll do is place this over this and just see if I want to make it a little bit smaller and I do so for this I can just use the little um, arrows down here just to make it a little smaller I find that um, I want to go just a hair smaller than what's on here because then I don't have to worry about getting all the edges exactly lined up. So now what I'm going to do is drag this over in my layers tab and drag it so that it is under the layer for our printed pattern. And I'm going to change it to white really quick just so we can see it and make sure that it looks good and it's not overlapping. That looks perfect. It looks just fine. So this is where you can do two things. You can either hide the one that has the pattern on it and open up the gray one again and you'll see that the gray one fits perfectly as well. Just remember that you need to cut the gray in the pattern or if you prefer you can just take the one that you sliced from and just change that over to a cut image over here up in operation. If you click operation it's going to bring down all the different things that Cricut can do so you can just change it back to a basic cut. It's up to you how you want to do it, but I like to make sure that I always keep the original somewhere in my design space. That way, in case anything happens in the middle of what I'm doing, I don't lose out on what I have. We're going to need to cut two pieces. We'll need a piece of white HTV, and then we're going to need our piece of the printed pattern. All you have to do now is flip these, make sure that they are mirrored. I don't like to mirror in the Make It screen. I prefer to flip them here on Cricut Design Space, so I'm just going to click flip and I'm going to flip it horizontal. Now there is a difference to this printed pattern vinyl than other printed pattern vinyl. This one you do need to mirror it and you do need to cut it with the pattern side down. 
This already has a built-in carrier sheet, so you don't need to get any extra things like heat transfer mask or anything like that to work with this patterned vinyl. It's all already there, good to go. Now let's go ahead and click Make It, and you'll see that you have your Disney Life and then your square that you need to layer behind. Again, the square is optional depending on what you want your shirt to look like, all of that stuff. You can totally leave it off if you want to, but for me, I kind of wanted that white behind it, so it's just a personal preference. Now what we need to do is go ahead and click Continue. These both cut on everyday iron-on, so it's very easy to do. If you're cutting these with the Explore Air 2, just turn your dial to custom and find the everyday iron-on setting. I always recommend keeping your Explore on the custom setting anyways, because then you're not going to forget to change your setting and it gives you a ton more options than just what's on the dial itself. So we're going to go ahead and get this cut. I'm going to show you guys it cutting. I'll show you guys how to load it just so you guys can see that it goes this color side down. And then remember I said I wanted to move this. I forgot and that was not cool. <laughs> so I'm gonna move it. All you have to do is click on your mat and you can slide this around just by clicking on your image. So I'm gonna move it down into the lower corner because I wanted it to cut with more of those like yellows and blue colors. So that is all I needed to do. I just needed to move it down the corner. So now we can go ahead and go load the machine, get it all cut out, and then we're gonna press it onto our shirt. This is our printed patterned vinyl. This side has the carrier sheet and then this is your adhesive side. And then you'll have the little border here that tells you what kind it is and has Auntie Tay's logo and my logo. So just be aware of this little line if you go to put this on your mat. Now again, I said I wanted like these colors so I'm gonna actually turn mine upside down and I am going to make sure that mine gets those colors on it that I wanted. Now you can always trim off this bottom part if you would like to, it's up to you. Um, but I really don't, um, I don't see the point, so I'm just gonna leave it there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the mat. Now it is gonna hang off the mat because of that little line, so don't worry, but it can hang off, that's okay. Again, you can trim that off, but you'll see that I put the color side down. So let's go ahead and open our machine and I'll get this loaded. So what I'm gonna do, I'll pull this down a little bit so you guys can see. So again, color side down on this one. You don't need a heat transfer mask. Go ahead and load it. Again, cut on every day iron on. And I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch this cut. So this is the shirt that we're putting this on. And before I forget, because I always do forget to tell you which ones I'm using. This is a Jersey's New Blend and it's 50% cotton, 50% polyester. I don't know the exact name of the color, but it's like a really pretty blue. So I'm gonna take a look and see what this looks like without the white behind it, just to see if I really do like it better with the white. I gotta say, I think I really like it with the white. I like it this way too, but I'd like it better with the white. So what I'm gonna do is flip this over and I have my white here. Again, it's just a white square, it's nothing fancy. And all I'm gonna do is flip my white over and make sure that I get this lined up to where it's not sticking over the edges anywhere and that it's not showing any of the edges of the letters or anything, and then I'm gonna flip this part over. Now, I have this really cool tool. I got this little, and it's hard to see, I know, but I'll try to get you guys a good view of it. Um, this is an acrylic t-shirt alignment tool. And this is from Chipped Builds, and she's awesome. She makes some really cool stuff. So this is a really helpful tool to use when trying to align your projects. So what you'll do is you line up your shirt. You get your shirt nice and flat on any flat surface. I have my hood kind of propped up on my machine, but I get this down on a nice flat surface and then you want to center the center line to your shirt and then where your three inch mark is on this, you're going to line that up with your collar and then this design, I'm going to figure out where center is. All I do is I kind of fold it in half and I just give it a little crease where I know that center so it's right on the edge of the end and then all I'm going to do is align this up where the center is and where this should go. 
and then I just kind of double check. That's about three in three three fingers from the collar. And with hoodies, I go just a little bit lower. And then all I want to do is just make sure it's nice and straight. Looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. It looks nice and centered. It's got the five here and the five here. Probably move it just a hair, a little bit, not much, just a little. Perfect. All right, that looks really, really good where it's at. So what I'm going to do, because my white piece doesn't really have a lot of sticky around it to hold it down, I'm going to get some heat tape and hold that down. Heat tape is a specific product made for this, so don't just use scotch tape. So I'm going to get this out of the way. Again, you can get this at Chipped Builds on Etsy. I will link it below. But what I'm going to do is peel up the patterned vinyl, holding down the square because I don't want the square to move. And so what I'm going to do is take some heat tape, and you don't need a lot, just a little, just on each corner to hold the image down. So I'm going to just hold the square where I have it. That way I can make sure that my Disney wording will go right over that and be nice and even. This press is at 305 for um, about 15 to 20 seconds. So I'll get the heat press all heated up for us. And then we can press this. I'm so excited, you guys. This is my first pressing with my new patterned HTV from Auntie Tay. So again, I'll link that below. Make sure you use code Corinne to save 10%. So let's go get the heat press ready. So because we're layering, we're only going to press this first layer for just a few seconds. I have a pressing pillow under this and a Teflon sheet connected to my heat press already. So all I'm gonna do is just put this down. Um, I'm gonna adjust my pressure because I have been doing sublimation, so I do have it a little high. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is adjust my pressure and I'm just gonna press this for again, just a couple seconds, nothing crazy, just to tack it down. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and pull that off. And this is again, just Easy Weed by Caesar, so it's real easy to work with. And I'm just gonna peel this up. Now again, I used that heat tape just to hold it down because I didn't want it to move when I moved my shirt over to my press. And heat tape's pretty inexpensive, so it's easy to work with. Now what we'll do is we're gonna get our Disney Life, our patterned vinyl, and we're gonna get that lined up where we want it. Make sure it's straight on the shirt and that none of the blue is showing through. Make sure she looks nice and even. It looks good, does it look straight? I always just kind of judge by the pocket if it looks straight. It looks pretty straight, it looks straight to me. I think I'm such a stickler for like checking if it's straight and it's super hard to do, but it's something that I just feel like this side just needs to come just a little. Okay, all right, I think we're ready to press. So this one we're gonna press for that full time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the press down and press this for the full time that it is requiring. Once it's done, just go ahead and lift up your press and you can remove your carrier sheet from your printed patterned vinyl. Now that everything is well pressed, I've got a little dog hair just sitting there. And go ahead and peel this off. And you can see how much brighter the color is without the frosted carrier sheet over it. That frosted carrier sheet really dulls the color, so don't worry. I'm gonna let this cool for just a minute and then I'll move it over to the table so you guys can see how cute this is. You guys, look how cute this came out. This is such a fun and easy thing that you can do with any printed pattern vinyl, but I do hope that you'll check mine out. I had a lot of fun designing it and it's all the things that I am truly in love with tie-dye and animals, and I love leopard print and paw prints. So I hope you guys learned how to do a really cool way to see what your printed pattern vinyl will look like before you actually cut it out using your Cricut Design Space. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget, I've linked everything that I've used down below in the description, and you can use code Corinne at shopantitay.com to save 10% on all the products that she sells there, not just my pattern vinyl, but she sells lots of other great things over there as well, so be sure to check that out. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and happy crafting.